Let's use some Swift UI magic to make a better progress view instead of the built-in one, because that one's kind of boring. First, we're gonna to need to define a couple state variables. So we have one for the percentage and one for our rotation angle. Next, we're gonna get rid of our current view and build a Z stack, which will contain a circle and the percentage number inside of it. You can see once this loads, we have our foundation. Now we need to get the circle spinning and the percentage incrementing. And that is going to use on appear. And inside of on appear, we will have a function that we are gonna create called start animation. Now we just need to create this function, which is just gonna be a timer. And we are just going to increment that every half a second so that it increments relatively quickly. And we're just gonna hard code this to go to a percentage of 100 and every tick we are going to add 1%. And we are also going to base our rotation angle off of the percentage divided by four. So as it gets closer to 100%, it's gonna spin faster and faster and faster. All right, that's great. Now we get to 100%, but now we wanna do something when we get there. We're gonna to transition to our view loaded screen. So inside this else statement, we are gonna have the timer invalidated. And then after about a quarter of a second, we're going to set is loading complete to true. Now we need to first create this. This is at state private var is loading complete equal we're setting it to false. And then we also need to wrap this entire thing in an if statement. We're gonna say if is loading complete. And then we are going to call our view loaded scene. And then otherwise we'll do what we were doing before. So we'll wrap this Z stack in the uh, else statement here. And now when this gets to 100%, we should, after about a quarter of a second pause at 100, be loaded into a new scene. So we can make loading screens more fun. Take this code, and do what you will with it. There's plenty of room for optimization. If you like these quick hitting SwiftUI tips and tricks, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. See you in the next one.